Hi guys, I want to talk about some highlighters that are um, on the market right now that I think are really great. I know I do some negative reviews, but I have to talk about the ones that are great. Um, the first one that I like, this one has so much pigment. This is Laura Mercier Highlight 01, and it has more of a champagne um, undertone, so I can't see pink or gold. I guess if I had to pick, I'd say gold, but it's really just a nice white highlighter. Um, and that one, I don't actually know the price since I got it as a free gift, but I think it's um, probably around $20, maybe $15. Um, they do sell the Duo, and I think that's around $15. And this is MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. And this one, oh baby, has some shimmer to it, and in the best way possible. It's got, um, it's actually right next to that one. I know you can't see it. Maybe like that you can. Sorry, I just did a bronzer tutorial in case you're wondering why I'm striped. Um, there we go. And that one's really pretty, and that one's about $32 at MAC, which is kind of expensive. But I think that'll last you forever, and the powders are good for like three years. So um, for me, that's definitely a purchase that I'll use. This is the box that comes in, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And, okay, I had a splurge moment. This is the Hourglass um, Ambient Palette, and it's kind of expensive, I'm not going to lie. But if you have gift cards and things like that, or if you can get a good deal, um, it's not so bad. But this is what the palette looks like. It's really sleek looking. You can see the reflection of the fan, the ceiling fan in there. And it has a mirror inside, and it has three highlighters. And I think that they are the perfect combination because you have like a true white in the center. You have a pinkier one and a more gold one. And these are so creamy and velvety. Like when you put them on your hand, you're like, holy cow, that feels so good. I can't wait to have that on my skin. That's honestly what I felt. So I'm swatching these on my hand for you. And I'll show you. Hourglass, these ones are supposed to be um, like easy for blurring out imperfections and the colors are dim light incandescent light and radiant light it's the ambient lighting palette so um the more gold one which is this one here um is right here it's kind of hard to see because it's almost skin toned but it's got a gold tint to it the middle one which is more white is right there and then the other one which is a little bit more beigey pink ah really hard to get in the camera there we go right there but I think this is about $58 but it is gorgeous and like I said these will last you forever like I don't think I will ever be able to use all this up but if you're looking for something a little bit on the lower end of your budget or within your budget in some cases a great alternative would be the NYX um, jumbo eye pencils and I'm trying to get a good shot here with the lighting. It's kind of hard. Um, and these come in, um, they, NYX has some funny names. Like all my lip stuff is like named after food, cherry cheesecake. And um, this is the color yogurt. I have cottage cheese. They also have milk. But you can like put that on the top of your cheekbone. Now this one's a little bit more gold. And then rub it out even using a brush. This one's more gold, but you can do it with white just the same and use that as a highlighter and you can use that in the inner corner and above here. So I like dual purpose products and even if it doesn't say it's dual purpose, sometimes I'll make it dual purpose, multi-purpose, whatever I feel like doing that day. And another way to take a multi-purpose, multi-purpose a product that you already own would be your eyeshadow highlighters. So for example, I have a lot of these from MAC that are just really light colors. Um, and then you don't always need a sparkly, shimmery white. I mean, sometimes you just want a little bit of white. So if you want a really good wham, bam, wow highlighter, nylon is gorgeous. It's got a little bit of white and a little bit of gold. It's really pretty with a slight shimmer. And um, I think that that is super pretty on the cheeks. Um, if you want a nice matte one, this is Blanc Type. If you buy um, the MAC eyeshadows in the pans, in the little black pots that they come in, 
Um, those are about maybe $15, $14, something like that. But if you buy them in the pans like this, where you just buy, you're not paying for all that fancy packaging, you're just buying this little thing, it's the same amount of eyeshadow. And I can actually prove that, but the same amount of eyeshadow, and it's probably 4 or $5 less. So I've been doing that lately. And then they sell these little palettes, um, and they're about $8, I think. Um, and then you, they have magnets on the back of them when you buy them individually. And you just throw them in a palette, and it's really easy. And I like to use multiple colors, so I don't want to have to store 20 different pots of eyeshadows for MAC. I don't want to have to have rustle through, like, a bunch of things in my drawer in order to um, find the three eyeshadows I wanted to use that day. And I know that it slowed me down getting ready, and I'm all about quick, get out the door. And so I think that the palette's a great way to do that. So you can use that palette, for example... I can use, this is my highlighter color, this is my all over color, this is my crease color, that is my outer V color, and then I can smack a little bit of this color, uh, this reddish brown, on my lips and put some clear gloss on top of it, and I'm pretty well done. I mean, I need a foundation, a blush, and mascara and eyeliner or something, and I'd be done with the lip gloss. So. Um, and also you could take any of these and make them your eyeliner. You could take like your blackest black one and get it a little wet with some setting spray or um, even contact solution or water and apply that with a really fine brush, like a tiny skinny one. And that could be your eyeliner for the day. Um, I'm all about multi-purposing, so highlighters are no different. If you can't afford to buy, you know, 10 products at MAC, buy like five, buy, you know, don't waste your money on their lip products, I'm telling you, but I'll explain that in another video. You can get free lipsticks there, and their lip glosses are just really sticky, so I don't recommend them, but um, I know it's treasonous because I love MAC, but that's me being honest. Um, and then buy like a highlight shade, an all-over shade, a crease shade, buy a, a lighter to medium brown that's matte that you can use as your contour shade, and then you have five shades that you can use on your eyes, but you happen to be multitasking and doing what's best for your budget. So I hope that helped about um, highlighters. And if you have any more questions, uh, please comment below. Thanks.